Amen. Amen. Certainly we honor the spirit of the Lord in this place on today. God is just worthy and he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. I don't know about you, but uh, it seemed like <clears throat> a heaviness or something in the atmosphere. But I, I just thank God for just blessing us. Amen. Yeah, yeah, to be yeah, in the yeah, number yeah, one more time yeah. for just uh, blessing us with uh, our sound mind, blessing us. Amen. Uh, to have our being. And I just give him praise on today. I don't know what you came here to do on today, but I, I come to praise God. I come to lift him up. I come to magnify him. And uh, the Bible lets us know that once we get that spirit and get that uh, frame of mind of collective praise, that something happens in the atmosphere. When we link up together in praise, when we link up together in worship, something happens in the atmosphere. Situations begin to change. Yokes begin to be lifted. And uh, God begins to move by his spirit. So, so we just thank him on today for his blessings. We thank him on today for all that he is doing in our life. And we thank him for uh, just being here with us, for being uh, his presence dwelling in this place. Sometimes in our life, it, it, it takes for us to uh, realize that, and, and I don't know about you, but it's, it's, I found myself uh, in a state of, of, of holding on to God. Yeah, I, I found myself in a, a state of uh, holding on to him in spite of the situation, in spite of things that is happening uh, around me, in spite yeah, of things yeah, that yeah, is, yeah. is going on in uh, uh, my life or in the atmosphere. So so we uh, I, I don't know about you, but in those times when I, I feel this way, in those times when uh, I, I'm, I'm asking God and I'm, I'm leaning on God, praying to God uh, in those times, I find myself myself having to trust and believe that, that's 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 going to be the message on today trust and believe you know because oftentimes we we go through difficulties in our life and and our spiritual man that spiritual man that's within us is battling our flesh it is battling our flesh so now we we understand that the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak but the, the flesh at times seem like it wants to be stronger than the spirit and it seemed like we act on the flesh more than we act on the spirit and we find that we're that we're battling a, a, a spirit thing in the flesh and, and it, it calls for us to uh, uh, at, at times want to you know throw in the towel it calls for us at times want to give up or, or, or want to uh, uh, just uh, say uh, enough's enough uh, I'm not going to stand it and I'm not going to take it or, or whatever the situation may be but we find ourselves really needing to trust God and believe during those moments I, I hope I'm talking to somebody already on today in those moments uh, uh that we find ourselves in uh, we have to allow that spirit to take control we have to allow that spiritual man of God to step in and fight off those things that the flesh wants to do uh, trust and believe it's, it's a battle that we're uh, fighting it's a battle that is raging on but but I, I'm here today to, to tell you that uh, I'm reminded uh, that if, if we just trust in God if we believe in God and, and do what the uh, Bible says wait on the Lord and be of good courage that God is going to strengthen us he's going to renew us in the midst of what we're going through in the midst of the situation in the midst of the problem in the midst of the uh, uh, hostility or the turmoil or whatever the situation may be that's going on God will step in and God will bless us and strengthen us to overcome the situation that we're going through all we have to do is trust him all we have to do is believe him all we have to do is lay it on on the line and say, God, here it is. God, I'm, I'm standing on your word. I'm standing on what you say. God, uh, I've been waiting. I've been fasting. I've been praying. I've been uh, uh, just uh, laying before you all day long, God. And, and I don't see the manifestation of, of what I need to be done uh, happening, God. I don't see the manifestation of, of it really uh, working out uh, for the good. I, I see the opposite. And, and in those moments, I, I have to encourage myself and say, I'm going to wait like Job said. I got to wait until the change comes. Because I know it's coming after a while. It, it, it may be delayed, but it ain't going to be denied. I don't care how much the enemy tries. I don't care how much the enemy tries to kick and, and fight against it. It shall not change what God had purposed it to do. 
Hallelujah. So, so in trusting God, I have to understand the definition of trust. The definition of trust is putting complete control or confidence in something or someone. Meaning my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's, it's, it's a firm belief in reality uh, or the uh, reliability of something or the truth or the ability of this thing uh, having a control over what we're trusting it for. And when we deal with the word belief, we have to understand it's similar in definition. It's similar in its state as it relates. It says to ex be uh, accepting uh, something as true and, and feel uh, sure of the truth of that thing. So when we trust and believe, we have to understand. We're saying, God, I have full confidence in knowing that you're able to do it. Now my belief kicks in because my belief tells me that you can do it and I just have to wait until you fi uh, uh, fix it and, and, to how, and how you maneuver things to work out. But I'm still going to continue to praise God. I'm still going to continue to give God glory in spite of how it looks, in spite of what it seemed like, in spite of the adversary's attack and all those things. I'm still going to keep trusting God because I believe God is able to do it and I believe God can do it uh, uh, quickly and, and, and expediently and, and all those things that we ask. But the thing that I, uh, I have to understand is throughout these uh, stories in the Bible, there was many times that people had to put some trust in God. Amen. There was many times people had to put uh, their belief in, uh, and faith in God to overcome something that was going on in their life. Yes. They was putting their trust in God in, in many uh, different ways. And, and in their life, they, they faced difficulties. In life, they faced uh, some type of situation or, or problem that raised up or, or that took hold within uh, themselves, within their family, their friends, or, or, or the situation around them. And they found uh, that that they had to trust God uh, and, and instead of trusting what they see. And, and that's us today. We have to trust God instead of what we see. Because our eyes will fool us every time. Our eyes will give us what we call an obstacle illusion uh, that the problem is not being fixed. Uh, but the devil is still a liar. And all his imps and all the things that he uh, has under control is still a liar on today. And God is still greater. And God is still uh, uh, better than uh, uh, anything that he could throw at us or anything that uh, attacks that he could come upon us. But, but the common theme with these people in the Bible was they had to trust God in moments of difficulties. Yeah, yeah. They had to trust God in moments uh, like the message uh, last week was, it's out of my hands. Uh, when it got out of our, their hands, they had to trust God and they had to believe that God was 